So we, we've been uh, emphasizing to policymakers uh, here in the United States and, and around the world that the future of the internet, 21st century access is, is a fiber-based internet. Uh, a number of, of countries have understood that for a while. Uh, China, for example, is connecting uh, fiber optics to, to all of its residents. Uh, South Korea has already transitioned over to all fiber for its uh, internet infrastructure. And one of the, the biggest changes that will come from that transition, and, and a number of European uh, Union member states have made this transition or, or on their way to near ubiquitous deployment, is, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, abundance of capacity at lowering cost. So the premise behind the fair share debate uh, and the idea that it costs a lot of money to deploy this and it costs a lot of money to run the internet um, are very faulty because what, what it actually is, is that it, 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 the cost, the, the, the payment or the, the things that the network operators have to um, rationalize and pay for is the deployment of the wire. It's a one-time cost. And uh, if done right, it shouldn't require any sort of replacement cost in the future, potentially for for the remainder of the century, uh, if done right. The, you know, there are fiber optic wires that I know about um, from from broadband providers I've spoken with that were laid uh, 40, 50 years ago. So this is kind of older technology, but still the same kind of glass high capacity wire um, that they use today, that handles the internet today, but delivers the gigabit and beyond speeds today. 